There is no denying how amazing LeBron James is as a basketball player. There's no denying that he came from an adverse situation and grinded his way to become a legend in the game. But there is also no denying that LeBron has totally lost touch with the common man and reality and seemingly forgotten who he was and where he came from. He was a struggling everyday person who turned himself into an empire. Now this is evident after he once again trashed the country that provided him with this opportunity when talking about Brittany Griner's Russian imprisonment. Now, in most countries around the world, LeBron would have never had the chance to reach the heights that he has. But maybe it's time we, the people, start to push back a little bit on this diva, this propaganda puppet for the CCP, this race hustler, and the same guy who told an innocent cop, you're next. Maybe we should trade LeBron for Britney so he can start to form an appreciation for the greatest country on earth. Better yet, maybe him, Xi Jinping, and Vladimir Putin could start the next big three. Mm. He went from a man of the people to a self-serving narcissist who spits on those very same people that buy the tickets to watch him play, spend their hard-earned money on his jersey, and even went to see the natural disaster that was Space Jam 2. Now, he's alienated the very place that allowed him to get to where he is. And he's, if it's so bad, then why are you ever going to put a Team USA jersey on again? I hope you don't. But I'll tell you what. We're tired of you, LeBron. We're sick of you, man. And just because you think something doesn't make it church because you're great at putting a basketball in a hoop. And when nobody challenges your way of thinking and you live in this huge echo chamber, LeBron is what happens. It's sad because of what he could actually be. He could be a unifier, but he chooses more division than a sixth grade math teacher. And the nickname King James is more fitting now than it's ever been because that's how he views himself. He's better than you, he's better than me, and he's better than the land that he calls home. But the greatest irony of all of it is that by acting this way, he has now transformed himself from a king to a jester in front of our own very eyes. Cone, I'm going to bring you and Blaine in here. I'm totally sick of LeBron. He's Number one, he's a beta because he doesn't think for himself. He's, he's, he is the Megan Rapino of the NBA. And as a guy who can sit here and know the difference between talent and basketball and what you're saying, I'm not arguing his basketball capabilities. They're unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But this guy is the biggest disappointment. Now, he tried to walk back these comments saying, no, I mean, you know, they haven't come to get it yet. You've already, you've already done enough, LeBron. I mean, your personal piggy bank is China. And at this point, you can't take a thing he says seriously, and it's sadder than ever. And it's funny, I wish in Space Jam he could have gone back and told that kid from Akron, don't be a phony. Don't, don't, don't go woke. And I cannot wait for this to reverse on him because it's going to eventually. It's all turning around. And you know what? It couldn't happen to a better group of people. Man, this one disappointed me last night when we, when we heard about this and I was thinking about this last night. And I don't know why I still get disappointed. Actually, can we play this clip, though, just so that we have... Yeah, let's run so the clip. we can see, hear what he said. Brittany Griner, she is in Russia. She's been there over 110 days. Now, how can she feel like America has her back? I would be feeling like, do I even want to go back to America? So that, that was the clip there. And I was thinking about this last night and I was, I was doing some math here. There are 8 billion people in the world, 8 billion with a B. 2,755 are billionaires. And because James Naismith invented a sport that rewards athleticism and height, LeBron James is one of those billionaires and it's much deserved. That's how the free market system worked. I mean, was a kid, just a kid from Akron, right? That was a yeah. all the way to the king of basketball. And I was hoping that this messy situation with Brittany Griner when it happened a few months ago, I was hoping that the silver lining of this could be that we come together as a country and that America, while imperfect, still stands as a beacon of hope for people across the country because you can at least see, hey, look what happens when you have 0 0.702 grams of hash 5,000 miles away from here. Look what happens in other parts of the world. Yet somehow still when a WNBA star is arrested in Russia, somehow it's still America's fault. And that I don't understand. And so when Le I hear LeBron James talk about this or talk like this, and he does so frequently, I don't believe him. I don't believe you, not when millions of people who don't even have a penny to their name are fleeing their home countries to come here. They don't have a penny to their name and they still find a way to try and come to America. And you, who has all the wealth in the world, enough money to have a house in every single country, where do you still reside? That's he lives exactly in America, right. which is further proof that America is a country so great, even those who hate it 
won't leave. That's exactly right. And, and it's funny, you know, we talk so bad about America, yet he is a walking propaganda poster for one of the most oppressive regimes out there. And he condones it, which means that you're part of it. So LeBron, if you're gonna blame America, I'm gonna blame you for what China's doing. I put it on you, buddy. And you know what? It, when's the last time LeBron heard no? When's the last time somebody told LeBron no or said, you know what, that's a stupid thing to say. Nobody says that in his inner circle because I guarantee you, I guarantee you they're all afraid of him. Well, guess what? The common man, the normal people in America, they're not afraid of you, man. They're not afraid of you. There's, I got more respect for guys that go out there and work construction for, for 12, 14 hours a day in the blazing sun or go put up roofing trying to just make enough money to put food on the table, but you're gonna sit there and cry, man. It's so sad to see a guy that got it out of the mud just sit in his ivory tower as an elitist and somebody that thinks he's better than everybody. You may be better than everybody at basketball and I'm not one of these shut up and dribble type of people. No, I think either. everybody yeah. should have an opinion. I'm not either. But that doesn't mean I can't tell you your opinion is absolute BS and that's what it is. Well, this is tough for me because I was that kid in the driveway. Right, playing basketball, you know, countdown from five seconds, sticking your LeBron James hitting that shot. LeBron James was one of the people I looked up to growing up. I mean, the guy was an absolute superstar, and, you know, and to sit here and just see his character diminish slowly and slowly and slowly, you know, it, it's it's saddening to me. And there's something, there's certain things you can come back from, but when you say stuff like this, you know, you can't come back from it. And uh, the separate, I want everybody to know, and we did a good job of separating this on the show of what what happens on the basketball court when I believe in LeBron and what happens off the basketball court is two mm -hmm. totally yep. different things when yep. it comes to how I think about LeBron James. I think he's one of the greatest basketball players ever to play, but he's slowly turning in to a terrible person. I, I, I agree. I agree. I and uh, I, mean, oh, I, I, just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know how you can sit there after everything you've done and what you've been through to get where you are to sit in that chair and say that about America to me, man, it's disgusting, and I don't know how you He's fall asleep puppet. at night. Well, He's especially the when Brittany Griner is over there in a cage and is writing the President of the United States personal letters to come and rescue her, to get her out. Like, that's how you know this person wants to come home. Yeah. Like, but what I was gonna ask is, he has been trying to walk this back today over the, la over the past 24 hours. What do you make of that? And is there, is this just a, is it a PR situation? Or do you think, cause I'm all about, like if someone makes a mistake and they own up to it, you need to acknowledge that. Is this that sort of situation? Or is this just, you know what, it's better for my wallet if I come out and I put out an apology? Or oh, he, he realized he screwed up that LeBron wouldn't apologize. Well, then that's good. Well, if that's this good. was the first offense, okay, I see, yeah. I, then I'd be, you know what? You made a mistake. Oh, uh, this is Michael Jordan kind of came, or never talked politics, but then this came out of nowhere. That's exactly right. Okay. I could, you know, be, you know what? It happens sometimes. Mm. We say the wrong things, but again, the you're next to the innocent cop. The track the record. He, the, the track record that he has is horrible and it keeps going downhill. And it's just, it's sad to see. It really is sad to see because he could be so much. But again, I don't know from a, a you know, wallet standpoint, he's gonna go with that. He, he knows what, what agenda he's pushing. Mm -hmm. He's already made his, his feelings known about this country. And you know what, LeBron? If it's so bad, then why don't you take your ass out of here? Because we're about sick of you, brother. And I'm sorry you didn't make the playoffs and you're single-handedly drowning the Lakers uh, like Leo DiCaprio in Shutter Island when he when he imagines what Which is what we'd rather family. be talking about. That's how can the well, how can the Lakers get better? You know. Yeah. Did you say in your Did you say in your open that uh, that we should trade LeBron James? Let's trade LeBron Ryan? James. If we Ryan. do that, there's only one person, okay, who can be the commissioner of that situation, and that's Dave Chappelle. All right, That's Dave exactly Chappelle right. can execute a trade on that level. Well, the right? fact We've that, seen it done on the Chappelle show. Well, I, again, if, if I was president, uh, Brittany Griner would already be home. I'd send Liam Neeson over there. Oh, yeah, it's a simple I mean, song. This is what this guy does. Just call him. He has I his will phone. find you. Yes, he has a special set of skills. <laughs> hey, if you like what you heard and you want to hear more, go on over to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher. Check out Crane & Company live every day from 2 to 3 Central where you can hear us spit it straight.